Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in ChatGPT, and I'm gonna get ChatGPT's opinion on how to introduce yourself in an interview, especially for a job interview. There are a lot of videos on the internet about this, but while each of those opinions is unique and no doubt very good, ChatGPT is interesting because it has scoured and read everything on the internet. So it sort of acts like an aggregate or a composite of everything that's out there. So it should have a good opinion as well. And in fact, I've already run an example and I'm gonna give you the prompts and the results. So I'm gonna give all of this to you, but you'll see here that it, it's broken it down into first impressions, introduction, and all the different parts you need to focus on. And anyways, let's go step by step. So the first step is writing the prompt. Now I've got a prompt that I use and it's worked very well for me. So I'm gonna start a new chat here. I'm gonna select GPT-4, although this works in any version of GPT, uh, after 3.5 particularly, and in the future you might even see GPT-5, who knows. But here's my prompt, and I'm gonna to explain to you why I'm doing it. Greetings, you are a professional interviewer with 30 years experience. And the reason why we're putting that in there is because we're basically priming GPT to say this is who you are, this is your role. It gives you a more specific, it gives a more specific, and it gives context, and it works quite well. Based on your experience, what is the best way to introduce yourself in a job interview? Be as detailed and specific as possible and give your reasoning and sources. Consider covering topics like first impressions, posture, dress, etc. This is what I'm going to go with and for me this works very well. So I'm going to hit enter and it's going to start chewing out the content right now. So here we go. Here are the steps and considerations you should take into account when introducing yourself in a job interview. Based on my vast experience as a professional interviewer. Remember, we have assigned it a role. Okay, so step one, first impression. Your introduction begins the moment you walk through the door. A good first impression can set the tone for the entire interview. The moment you walk into the building, you should demonstrate a positive professional attitude. So that's the first big takeaway. Be polite to everyone you meet as you never know who might have a say in the hiring process. Also, a very good point, dress code. It addresses it right up front here. You should dress appropriately for the position. This means opting for business or business casual attire, but could also mean dressing in a way that's industry specific. So if you're going for a developer job, maybe you need to wear a hoodie. <laughs> or you wanna be a YouTube video editor, yeah, you gotta wear a hoodie or something like that. But there, uh, anyways, jokes aside. Uh, so dress appropriately. Your body language is covered here. You can convey a lot of unspoken information about you so you can stand tall, maintain good posture, and keep eye contact. This shows confidence and engagement. When you shake hands with your interviewer, do so firmly, but not too tightly. Another great tip here. Um, it asks you to remember to smile. It seems like a small detail, but a genuine smile can make you seem more personable and enthusiastic. And we all like people that have genuine smiles let's just be blunt here um, in terms of the introduction when it comes to the verbal introduction it's important to be concise and to the point typically you might say something something like hello i'm curtis i'm very excited to be here today because and then briefly mention what attracted you to the position or the company so there you go make sure your introduction is tailored to the company and the job generic introductions might make you seem less engaged okay more great points preparation Show you've done your homework. You can weave in some information about the company into your introduction, demonstrating that you understand the company's mission and values. This is incredibly important and it separates you from all the other candidates because I've been through many, many job interviews and this one always works. Also have an elevator pitch prepared. This is a brief summary of your professional background, skills, and why you're a good fit for the job. Keep it concise, relevant, and engaging. And the last thing here is energy and enthusiasm. Show enthusiasm for the role and the company. This not only shows you're interested in the job, but also you're likely to be motivated and a passionate employee. So here we go, there it is. So this is all based on human psychology. So this is research, uh, hiring practices, and my own professional experience. Wow, it's really taken on the, the role. It also provides resources and citations. So a study here by Trisha Pickett and Neha Gada Jane, two psych students at the University of Toledo and their faculty advisor, Frank Bernieri. Wow, it goes right down to the actual people. Uh, so it, it talks about interviewers making a judgment about a candidate within the first 10 seconds, etc., of meeting them. So there you go. This is just an example that it came up with. You can run this prompt multiple times, 
But this is what ChatGPT recommends, and it's read everything on the internet. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. A ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.